Hi everyone, welcome to Physics with Ben. I made this video to clarify something. Uh, since I have been performing experiments in my life, in my profession in teaching physics, this particular experiment for electricity, uh, question number 3, YAC 2024, happens to be a very tough experiment. Although it is not difficult, the experiment demands carefulness, calmness, and patience. If you are not patient enough, you can't run this experiment. So having run the experiment, these are my observations which I want to communicate to the physics teachers and to the students. This is the equation controlling this experiment. This is it here. And this is the origin of this equation from, from the Metabridge equation. This is it here. So the, uh, the equation has been customized into this. So this equation is congruent to this. So you, you make R on the subject formula and then you have this. Now, Rx is constant here. In every experiment, there is something called the trend of the experiment. This is what YEC we always consider. A lot of students are writing this exam nationwide, worldwide, and their values will never be the same. The numeric value for the table of values will never be the same. But it is something that must be the same in this YEC exam. That thing is called the trend of the experiments. Now, this train of the experiment guides you not to go off the right path while performing experiments. When you know the train of the experiment, it helps you to stay within the range of the experiment and not to go off. So when you perform the experiment and you don't get a trend, then it could be that your apparatus are wrong or there are errors due to parallax or there are so many stuff that are involved, so you have to troubleshoot to know why the trend is not there. So before you begin any experiment in physics, discover what the trend is. So here, this value is constant, Rx is constant. Rx is constant here. Y, R2, RQ, and RS2 are variables that will be changing. The same thing here, Rx is constant, Y, L, P, L, S1, and R1 are variables that will be changing the experiments. Good. So, I use the constantan wire, and I also use the Eureka wire SWG34. I use this wire. This wire is a no-go area. This is the name of this wire. When I use the wire, the galvanometer was deflecting in one direction. And it is not supposed to be so. So I removed the wire. I now tried with the constantan wire. This is the constantan wire. I tried with this wire. The constantan wire, the constantan wire is like this. There is it. I use it, and this was what I got with the wire. I got clean values, and the trend was revealed. It means that R, R1 and LP, they have a direct relationship that is decrease, decrease, or increase, increase. So if R1 is decreasing, LP will also be decreasing. If LP is decreasing, R1 will also be decreasing. And that is the relationship, the length of the wire and the resistance have. From the factors that affect the length of the, uh, of the resistance of the wire, we'll have the temperature, we'll have the length of the wire, we'll have cross-sectional area, we'll have resistivity or nature of the wire. So the length of the wire and the resistance of the wire, they have direct relationship. 
that is decrease in the length of the wire will cause decrease in the resistance of the wire and increase in the length of the wire we call increase in the resistance of the wire and if you observe this table lp and r1 they had a relationship lp is decreasing down and r1 is also decreasing down so this is perfect good if you look at r1 and ls ls1 they have an inverse relationship that is a trend so between r1 and ls1 you are supposed to have an inverse trend increase decrease or decrease increase so it means that if ls1 is increasing r1 will be decreasing let's check it here quick so between uh, L, ls S, ls1 is, is increasing down is increasing down why r1 is, dec is decreasing down so this trend is also confirmed if you look at r2 and lq the trend is also there increase increase or decrease decrease let's check it so lq is increasing down i mean is lq is decreasing down and r2 is also in uh, decreasing down the trend is also confirmed here. Lastly, R2 and R2 and LS2, they have an inverse relationship. Increase, decrease, decrease, increase. So these parameters, these are the relationship in the experiment. So you have L2, uh, L2 is, is increasing down. R2 is supposed to decrease. Let's confirm that. Good. From 1.778 to 1.7 this. So this is decreasing. So the table of value is perfect. So if you are running this experiment and your table of value is not like this, then what you are doing is totally wrong. So this particular wire uh, is the Eureka wire. So I tried using different wires. This wire is a no-go area. This is the name of the wire. If you have it, don't try it. Your deflection will go one direction. So this is the wire. It is a. It is the copper wire is inside. Good, you can see that. So this wire is a no-go area. You put it aside. So the wires that I recommend for this experiment. Then this other wire, I try this wire to get my R3 to see what I will have, and the wire was giving me values that are not too wonderful. This wire, you can use this, this wire to do the string of a guitar. It is very, very strong. So this wire is also a no-go area. Uh, this, is, this is the wire I'm talking about. This is it here. You see, you see, see what's happening? The wire can roll on its own and see that. So this wire is a no-go area. So I'm suspecting on the DD, the wires that will be used the most is uh, this particular wire. So this wire and the constantan wire, they have the same color. But the constantan wire is thicker. It's more thick than, uh, it's thicker than this particular wire. So this wire is not as thick as the constantan wire. But you see, they have the same, uh, the same color. The constantan wire is more thick than the other wire. So these are the two wires that may be used on the DD. So uh, this is my constantan wire. This is the wire I use for this column. And uh, this is the wire I use for, for this. And then this is my composite table of value. So uh, to cap it all, we have to plot the graph of Y of R2 on the vertical axis and X R1 on the horizontal axis. So if you observe between uh, uh, these values, this column and this column, what do you observe? You see that these values are decreasing down. These values are also decreasing down. So you have decrease, decrease. So for a decrease, decrease or increase, increase graph, how would the graph look like? So this is, this is a graph that you may likely have. There are two graphs here. 0, 0, 
you will have this graph or this graph as to the origin or this graph so these are the three graphs that you may likely have any one of these can be the graph the first one or the second one or the third one so predictions in physics helps you to minimize error in experiments so it, it, it could be this graph or this graph or this graph since the trend is increase increase and decrease decrease so it is decreasing down r1 and r2 are decreasing down and they are increasing up so this is how their graph will look like i wish you guys success in this year's exam and don't forget to like comment uh, subscribe also and share to do that need it the experiment i did on how to make use of this is also a wonderful experiment go through that experiment the video on that experiment and in the description box of this video you are watching there are video links to all the videos i've done for this year go through it and then combine the knowledge i just gave to you here right now and then you're gonna have a wonderful experiment you you may love to plot your graph using this table of values Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.